I want to show you how you can use a zero water filter as an alternative to distilled water in an autoclave. Uh, you can use this for any autoclave. You just have to make sure that you filter the water properly. Now the zero, the zero water filters come with a total dissolved solids tester. And so the total dissolved solids tester will give you a reading as to how many dissolved solids are in the water so you know if it's equivalent to distilled water or not. So the trick with these though is you need to make sure that it is actually a total dissolved solids rating of zero before you use it in your autoclave equipment. So the depending on how hard your water is, the filter may only last five or 20 gallons. It really depends on how many total dissolved solids are already in your tap water. And in the city where I live, there's a lot of, it's a very hard water where there's the TDS reading out of the tap here in, in my city right now is around 400, which is really, really hard water. So this zero water filter only gave us about five gallons of totally uh, TDS of a zero rating water. So the downside about that, which these filters are around 10 or $11 a piece, which means if we're paying 10 or $11 a piece for a filter and we're only getting five gallons, that means we're paying about $2 per gallon of filtered water. And the reason why I went ahead and got this is because in our city, we had a shortage of distilled water. You couldn't find it anywhere. Everyone in the city was trying to find distilled water. The entire region where I live was having a shortage of distilled water. So we went ahead and bought this zero water filter as a backup so we can at least make some uh, distilled equivalent to distilled water uh, that can be used in the equipment. Now, the alternative to this is you can also buy a, dis a water distiller, which evaporates the water and does create distilled water. Um, the downside about water distillers is they require a lot of maintenance and you have to clean the scale that builds up um, on the equipment. Uh, so it's a little more maintenance intensive. So the zero water filter is pretty easy to use, but the downside is you have to buy filters. And if you have really hard water, then these filters aren't gonna last you very long. So if you can look at the little map here, it tells you, you know, tap water, TDS, or total dissolved solids level. And so if you're in an area where there's really hard water, we're in Utah right there, and it says that we're at a level of 200 to 300, but in my city in Utah, we're actually at over four, a level of over 400, so we're only getting like five gallons or so out of our filter, which is, is too bad because it becomes expensive to, to make uh, equivalent to distilled water uh, with this filtration system. And it does work. We used it successfully in our equipment just fine. The thing you gotta be very, very careful of though is that you test every single time you make new waters, you test it with this to make sure it's giving a reading of zero because if you don't test it, what's gonna happen is your assistant or someone will accidentally put water in your autoclave that is not um, a TDS level of zero. So we, we had some water that we ran through this filter, but we didn't, we just got busy and no one tested it. And so they put it, the water in from the filter into the statum and so the statum said oh you have a tds level of 75 which is much better than our tap water but still not good enough for the statum um, and also any equipment like the autoclave the m11 autoclave you're going to want to have clean distilled water that has a tds level of zero so um, while i think this uh the zero water uh filtration system is a great backup i don't think it's the primary source of distilled water because of the expense of the filters. Um, if you live in an area where you have really, really soft water, where there's not hardly any solids dissolved in your water, then yeah, maybe it can make more economic sense for you to use it. Uh, but I still like having it as a backup because in our area, we had a hard time finding uh, commercial distilled water that you can buy, like, like this distilled water you can buy at the store for a dollar. There's other more fancy filtration systems you can buy that are more expensive. There's also water distillers you can buy, um, but that's just kind of an inexpensive, quick thing that we bought when we we're in a pinch to, to have something. So just that's my tip is make sure that you use the TDS level to check and make sure that your water level is truly zero. So this is the water that we drained out of the statum. I'll turn on my TDS reader and we'll stick that in there. And it's showing at about 117 now, which I think it's at that high of a level because as the water was dripping into this bucket, there might have been a few uh, particles of dust or minerals in the bucket that made the level go up to 117. The, uh, when it was in the autoclave, it was actually at a TDS level of 75, which is not acceptable for the equipment. So we drained it out. 
um, using that little drain that's below the statum. And now we're going to run some distilled water through there to flush out any particles that might still be in there so we get a TDS level of zero. So we're going to put some distilled water in a cup and we'll measure the TDS level with the total dissolved solids meter. So you can see it says zero and we stick it in there and it still has a TDS level of zero because it's distilled water that we bought at the store. So we know that that water is a TDS level of zero. And that's what was happening out of the zero water filter there um, when you'd read it. But you just have to continually test the water as it comes out of the filter to make sure it never gets above zero, then you can still use it in your equipment. So we're gonna run some of this water through the autoclave here that has a TDS level of zero and allow it to drain through there. Um, and that will make it so that we know for sure that there's no impurities in the tank. We'll allow some of that to drain through. And so we refilled the tank of the statum and it's now showing that we have a uh, water quality is still acceptable. It has a green check next to it, but it's at one part per million. So it's maybe a TDS level of one. We'll test it with the other TDS meter, but there's probably just enough of the minerals that got in there from the, the water that was at a TDS level of 75 that it made it so there's a tiny bit in the tank. But as we run more pure water through there that has a TDS level of zero, it should clear that up and be fine. When I bought this uh, zero water filter, I also bought a separate TDS water tester just to make sure that the one that they send you isn't uh, reading incorrectly. And this is a legitimate total dissolved solids tester because it came with the same results as when I bought independently from a different seller that isn't associated with zero water. So the uh, the TDS tester that they send you with the zero water filter is legitimate and it is effective just like any other one that you could buy. So um, you can trust the reading that comes out of the one that comes with the uh, zero water filter. So as I added more water to the tank here, it diluted it so it was at one part per million. Now it's down to 0.7 parts per million. So it, it got diluted by the, the uh, distilled water. So it, it's a very low level, and as the more we run it through again, it will eventually get down to zero.